This video will explain AQTime's basic concepts and demonstrate how to profile an application with AQTime. AQTime is used to profile 32 and 64-bit Windows, .NET, and Java applications and VBScript and JScript code. Profiling means running an application under AQTime to know how your program performs during execution. AQTime lets you measure the performance, track memory and resource allocations, and gather other crucial characteristics of applications, and helps identify and eliminate bottlenecks within your source code. Profiling applications with AQTime is very simple. You use AQTime to determine which areas of your code should be analyzed, select the profiler to be used, and then run the application. AQTime then gathers critical performance and memory allocation information at runtime and generates comprehensive and detailed reports with the profiling results. Today we'll demonstrate how to profile applications with AQTime. In our explanation, we'll use the Cycles application that's shipped with AQTime. This application just runs several functions over and over again in a loop and we're going to call this application from AQTime and profiling it using the Performance Profiler. Okay, let's get started. The profiling process includes several steps. You typically begin by creating an AQTime project. And to create a new project, simply click Create a New Project here on the AQTime's Start page. AQTime then creates a new project and displays this setup panel. Now, the first thing we want to do is define the application modules, classes, and functions that we want to profile. So to do this, we're going to click this button right here. Then I'm going to select the executable that I want to profile, and I'll click Open. Now you can see that the module is displayed here in the module panel and I can expand these tree controls to see all the methods that live inside that particular executable. So now what I'm going to do is define which parts of my application need to get profiled. And to do this we're going to create a profiling area. Now profiling areas are collections of units, classes, and routines that need to be profiled and the list of default areas is shown right here. You can see that by default, each project includes four predefined profiling areas. These are the full check area, which allows you to profile all routines in the modules of the current project, and then these additional areas, which allow you to profile code in the .NET runtime, code from the Microsoft Script Debugger, and code executed by vir various Java virtual machines. The profiling areas not only let you specify what code should be profiled, but also specify the profiling level line, routine, or class as shown right here. Now to make the profiling of our application faster, we're going to leave full check by routines enabled. And what we want to do is get some detailed information about an individual routine. So to do that, we're going to create a custom line level area and add that routine to it. So to create that custom area, I'm going to right click here in the areas section and click choose add area. I'll give my name a more descriptive name. I'm going to call this Profiling Test Area. And I want to have this profile down at the line level. So I'll select line there and then click OK. So now that we've created that line level area, I want to add a method to that area. So to do that, I'm going to grab this Profiling Test Routine and I'm going to drag that right on top of that area. This means that AQTime will profile that method down at the line level. That is, you're going to see execution time for each source line for that routine. And this is very in useful information when you're searching for performance bottlenecks. Besides profiling areas, AQTime also offers other ways of restricting which parts of an application must get profiled and when. These are triggers and actions. Triggers are used to turn profiling on and off on a thread basis. For instance, on triggers allow profiling to come on when certain routines are executed, and in an off trigger, uh, profiling is turned off for that particular thread when a certain routine or class is encountered. Triggers are defined here in the Triggers and Actions section of the Setup pane. The Initial Profiling Status setting lets you specify the initial profiling status for threads created in your application during the run. To create a new trigger, simply right-click somewhere inside the Triggers and Actions panel and select Add Trigger from the context menu. Using this dialog, you can specify the trigger's name, whether it gets turned on or off, and other additional properties like how many times a routine will be called before it acts as a trigger, and how many consecutive calls will act on the trigger, right here in the work count. Once you've got a trigger created, you can add elements to it in the same way you would an area, simply by dragging them from this tree control onto the trigger item. 
But for right now, we really don't need to use triggers, so I'm just going to delete it. Now the other method of profiling control, actions, actions are routines at the beginning or end of which AQ time performs specific actions, switching profiling status on or off, or getting profiling results. And again, to create an action, you just right click somewhere inside here and choose add action from the context menu. And here you can specify the action's name, its type, and its execution type, whether it'll start on entrance or exit. Note that although actions are very similar to triggers in the sense that they allow you to switch profiling status during the profiling run, they do not save and restore profiling status for the thread after the thread routine is over. Okay, now we can start profiling. And to do this, I press the run button here on the standard toolbar. You can see AQ Time has launched my application. And as I mentioned earlier, this application just calls several functions in a loop. So what I want to do is specify the number of iterations I want to run here and then click the execute button. My application is going to perform its iterations three times and then I get this dialog box telling me that execution has been finished. So I'll click OK and then I'll close my application down. Now once the application closes, AQ Time generates a report with the profiling results. You can see a summary of those results right here and this summary helps you quickly find routines with poor performance and determine which snippets of code in your application should be optimized. The contents of this report panel depend on the results category that is selected here in the Explorer panel. You can go by source files, by modules, or by routines. Now this panel lets you not only see the results, but also provides some features for the results analysis. For example, you can sort results, you can filter records, you can uh, group results into subtrees, and so on. Now when you select a particular routine here in the reports panel, other panels down at the bottom of the screen get updated to display information for that routine. For example, I have the details panel expanded right now, and that's showing me the parent routines that called this particular routine, do action A, and the children of that routine. The lines table displays the line profiling results for the selected routine. Note that if the routine was not profiled at the line level, this routine was empty. But because the profiling test was profiled at the line level, we can see information about its lines here uh, on that line table. AQTime also traces the sequence of function calls. The hierarchy of calls and some measured characteristics for the routine selected in the report panel are displayed here in the call graph and call tree panels. This concludes our video on profiling applications with AQTime. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at the email address on your screen. We wish you luck and hope you enjoy profiling your applications with AQTime.